Yo, what's up guys? Turn Gringo Ham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So, uh, as I promised, we are going to show an alternate start here. Um, the way to get this done quickly, if you um, feel like maybe the path I took took too long and you just want to jump in, this is actually fantastic for starting any class. Now, you could pick whoever you want here. Uh, we're going to go with the cleric just for the stats uh, because it'll help us get uh, hexes faster. So I'm showing you the fastest way to grab your first hex. Um, once again, we're going to be grabbing the bonfire ascetic here. Um, and we'll just finalize it at that. So Ooh, you can really do this with anything. Um, you'll end up, you know, if you want to do quality, you can end up with 2020 right off the bat. Um, sink it all into decks, sink it all into strengths, whatever you want to do. Um, but we will, we will show for the Hexer, um, the quickest way, uh, to go ahead and get your first Hex and, and get on with the game. So, real quick, we'll go ahead and bust this up. May as well grab the item that's here. We're going to run through the rest of things betwixt, though. Not really worried about grabbing anything here. The key is to get to Majula, and just like before, we will go ahead and uh, commit a murder just to get the extra soul absorption from the gear. Uh, we do start with the mace. Now, you have to two-hand it as a cleric, otherwise you don't have enough strength, but it's, it's more than enough to get you started. Uh, we actually, the only person, the only enemy that we're going to hit uh, is going to be our armor vendor down here. Um, the rest of the time, it's it's more of the same, really, of what we've already done. I'll go ahead and grab this. It's just right here. And go ahead and grab the Morning Star for a backup because it's technically on the way to the bonfire. And our binoculars that every caster class should have. Light the bonfire. Talk to the Herald. Are you or I go on? There are you. Okay, there we go. We're ready, uh Next time we come here to level up. Free souls, free life gems. And we will go up here and grab the uh, seal or way of the blue covenant, just because it's free health and why not? And all it takes is cycling through some uh, dialogue here. If that front, do you, you will say, if when you protection yes and there we go we have our blue seal that is a wise let go ahead and pop that on and head off we are uh, we're gonna go murder and then uh, head right straight to Hades Tower of Flame I will go ahead and grab the Estus Shard. I won't turn it in right now. But I will go ahead and grab it. Well, it would help if I could uh, get the spacing right. Oh, he's going to heal. No, sir. Look, look, you're coming at me kind of wild here. I'm gonna pop this life gem. <laughs> I've messed around too long and he's done too much damage to me. You can really just murder him pretty well. 
with the damage you do. All right, that's it, sir. Sit down. How many SS do you have? Okay, go ahead and grab the grab the gear here. Let's put it on. And as you can see, we're still fast rolling, so no worries there. Um, tell you what, due to the fact that I royally messed that fight up, we'll go ahead and head over here, grab the Estus shard, we'll turn it in real quick, uh, and go ahead and rest, get our health back. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn the Estus shard in first. Seek the, there's one seek, so that is that a show here to see love, however fit. And there we go. Grab a rest and off we go. Okay, so it really is just the same as what we've already done. Uh, we're going to murder uh, Dragon Rider twice real quick. Uh, but I at least wanted to show it to you and show you uh, how to allocate your points so that you can run and grab hexes really fast. Grab the Crimson Parma on the way down. Why not? It's right here. Uh, by the way, guys, I do fully uh, remember where the hidden door is that I couldn't find in Lost Bastille. Um, I realized when I said... This is the elevator, but we're going to go tackle it from another direction. That area right there is where the uh, hidden door is. So in the next episode, when we get back to the um, rest of the Hexer build, we'll be taking that route for the hidden path. We'll also be um, taking out Belfry Luna. Go ahead and light this just so we have a place to respawn when if we mess up. I'm gonna sucker him down here and see if maybe I can get past him. Ooh, that was close. And you can grab items as you come through here if you want. I'm not going to. They're really not necessary. All we're doing is trucking straight through And there we go. Draw this guy's attention. I don't think so, sir. And in we go. Now remember, just like last time, we're gonna count his footsteps. One, two, three, four, five, six, run on seven. And there he goes. Now this time when I head up here, I'm actually going to show you the proper way, uh, hopefully, <laughs> to punch her off the side. You just never know, I may just mess it right up again. Alright, so we're trying to get her to go over to that uh, window over there. Please stop this. What are you doing? Ugh. I've no choice now. The trick is you have to make small movements and also let your stamina recover at the same time. 
So you gotta have a little space between your punches. And there we go. That's how you do it properly. Rest right here. Grab our items. Go ahead and head back to Majula. Spin the souls just in case on the new game plus run through. Something happens. Since every time we burn a bonfire ascetic, of course, uh, the enemies get stronger. And as you can see, already up to 17 on the intellect. We haven't even burned the boss soul and we'll be able to burn it twice. And we're going to head right back to Page Ruin. Now granted, if you're going for a different build, you can absolutely put those points into something else. I'm not even going to pull a weapon out. And I realized I forgot to burn the bonfire aesthetic. Isn't that nice? Let's see if we can get a rest. Yes, we can. Alright, now we will burn the bonfire aesthetic. Long wait time for the message, and here we go. Now remember, there are extra enemies as we come through here. Just be mindful, uh, one of them is right by the jump. So you'll notice I don't run straight for the jump. And what I do is I'll start sprinting here, relax, get some stamina back, start sprinting again. And then jump. And we made it. Uh, don't forget the uh, Black Phantom will spawn in over there. So we need to drag this guy away. There's also an extra up here. Ooh, hey. He tried to get a sneaky one in there. Pop through the mist. You got to get in before he or the Black Phantom hits you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Run on seven. And even if he doesn't fall off right on the lunge as he recovers, he will fall off. Get another Dragon Rider Soul. Head on back to Majula. Level up one more time, go get our Hex. Remember, the uh, magic number is 21, and we got 21 and 21. See, it's actually perfect without burning the boss soul. Now, we only have 11 souls left, uh, but we get to turn the rotunda for free, and we can burn our boss souls when we get to uh, Dark Diver to buy the spells that he's got. And if you go this route, typically what I do is just buy the Dark Orb. And turn this uh, but I typically just buy the dark orb if I go this route uh, that way I can still have some souls left over to pump into some levels that's the downside of doing it the fast way is we don't have any extra strength we don't have any extra decks so you're not gonna be able to use the fire longsword right away and that's important because you still want to spend your souls with um, Malintia so that you get the silver serpent ring plus one. And I just feel like the, the other route is a lot better. Now this is the easier route. So if you're just trying to kick back and relax and don't want to, uh, you know, have to deal with old dragon slayer and all of that, uh, then by all means run it this way. The dogs, I but I feel like you just get a lot more benefit uh, from doing it the other way. We need to talk actually. There we go. Get the same gear. And as you can see, 600 for Dark Orb. No method. Uh... So, well, yeah, we'll go ahead and pop the hood on. That allows us to use the catalyst. 
Uh, this time, though, we get to have a mace that we can two-hand. Of course, grab your binoculars. Uh, no more rings yet. Talk to him again. Wait, nope, nope. No message. Uh... Pop a boss soul first. We'll just use one. That's all we're going to need. You are. And then we head on over here. Buy us a dark orb. That'll get us started. Uh, you could pick up dark weapon if you wanted to go with resonant souls. You could too. I like to stay away from the resonant souls for early game. Uh, the reason why is they're just, uh, you know, they burn souls. So if you kill an infantryman for 130 souls and you've spent 100 on resonant souls, then you're, you're only gaining a net 30. So I typically stay away from these. I used them uh, in the last couple of episodes only to show you they are in fact powerful so you do get the trade-off for spending the souls come again as you like but i just prefer not to use them for early game so here we go you got your 21 cast of dark orb and you're a hexer uh it's a little bit faster like i said but i just feel like you miss out on some stuff because we are nowhere near as beefy uh, matter of fact, let's look at the level. Level 40. And uh, by the time we picked up our hexes here, I want to say we were already in the 80s. It's, it was kind of ridiculous. So uh, anyway, guys, that is the faster route. But use this to your advantage. Anytime you want to hot start a game and you're like, well, I want to get a jump start on strength or I want to get a jump start on dex or I want to do a great shield monster. So let's get a lot of uh, vitality and endurance, uh, stamina, things like that. Um, it works, it works great. Um, this is pretty much how I start the game every time I play, uh, just because it's just super beneficial. Now, if you're going for an achievement run, this is not the way to do it. You're going to kill your vendor. You're going to kill, uh, the miracle lady. Both of them need to be alive and in Majula for you to get one of the trophies that's required for the platinum so bear that in mind don't use that if you're going for a trophy run um, i'll show you though exactly the easiest way to get through the game um, when we do the 100 percent walkthrough and still get all of those trophies uh, but anyway guys that'll do it for today this was a short one uh, i am uh, still working on uh, the hexer build so I'm going to get back to that. Y'all can uh, look forward to another video tomorrow where we're going to be going through Belfry Luna uh, as well as picking up that hidden route we missed on the way through. That'll get us another Pursuer and another Twinkling Titanite. Uh, and then we'll be headed off to Sinner's Rise. Probably tackle all of that in that one episode. So, uh, guys, if you're enjoying the coverage of Dark Souls 2, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit me up in the comments section down below. Till the next video, guys, thanks for watching.